Hello Crafted Shutter users, welcome back to a, another video today and I'm doing something for the first time here on the channel. I put in on my community tab to have people that were interested in having me critique their stock video portfolio and I have had several responses. So in no particular order I'm just going to start picking people to critique. And today we are going to critique Bad Doggy, and I will link to his portfolio below here in the comments. But I will critique it for you on the computer, and we'll walk through Bad Doggy's portfolio uh, to see what I think about it. Maybe see what you think about it. So I hope this actually ends up being educational and helpful. I'm not here to make anyone feel less of an artist or to make somebody feel bad that they don't have a certain camera or I don't even care what stock sites you submit to or what link you give me to to your clips. This is all about education, learning, getting better at our craft. And by and large, if I gave my portfolio to any of you, you could give me good advice on what to do as well. I'm just happy to give uh, my knowledge of this industry and hopefully give it back in a great way for everybody to succeed at learning something new. That being said, if you haven't checked out my community tab, I encourage you to do so. Get involved in the community. Uh, also, if you haven't subscribed, uh, this is a good time to do that and to ring the bell. And I have a lot more exciting content coming on the way, uh, some new stuff that I'm doing, and I'm real happy about it. So, um, Hey, before I say anything more and uh, go on and on and on, let's jump into Bad Doggy's portfolio and give it a critique. Hello everyone, welcome to Bad Doggy's portfolio here on iStock and I want to thank Bad Doggy for allowing us to critique, allowing me to critique his portfolio. And yes, I do this with permission and I will leave his link to his portfolio below. And I'm going to start with best match here. And I'm going to go through some of these. I'm not going to go through his entire collection. He has 2,489 videos. Congratulations on that. But what I noticed right away is um, good exposure control on this, on, on these shots. I, um, you know, nice camera work. It's not too shaky. Uh, good models. Um, just, you know, great stuff. I really love this one with the, the little boy and the big tractor. I mean, that's just solid. Great work. Really love this one. Older people using technology. That's fantastic. This is fun. Yep, just a kid going nuts in the snow. A little kid doing parkour is good. And believe it or not, this can be useful. It's just a cell phone with some movement, obviously, from the trees. Lost, broken cell phone, whatever you want to use there. And uh, lots of fun here. Good shot. So, as far as camera work goes and exposing and just, you know, getting the right angle I don't have a lot of uh, critique here on this first page here every and these are really well exposed in a nice shallow depth of field and a nice archery shots a really great macro here of a little boy exposed for the face without blowing out the cheek and then just let this blow out if you need to on this side so nice job on the exposure there and as we move forward we're gonna keep on trucking and really, I'm just, you know, another clip that went with the other one there, uh, elderly person on a phone, and just really great work, different models. So usually on iStock, when you go to Best Match, they put like, you know, your best stuff in the front, the stuff that has the most commercial value, and this is really, really good stuff. And so right now I'm seeing, you know, really, Really nice camera work, really balanced colors. I don't see, you know, crazy white balance issues. I don't see any crazy focusing issues. I see, you know, steady cameras. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Um, yes, it's, it's solid. Everything here that you're seeing is nice and conceptually solid. Now, I'm gonna dive in a little bit further and that's where I'll critique a little bit more. And what usually ends up happening is, it's the earlier clips. <laughs> if you did that on my gallery, uh, on my portfolio, you would find the same, but we'll get there. Um, I can prove it. Let's just go over here to type number 10. Let's go to page 10. All right, we still got some models here. Uh, this one 
Yeah, that's too overexposed um, to be of super high value for somebody. This one's overexposed too, but the action in the shot makes up for just it being tear overexposed. This one's not too bad overexposed. That's not bad. Um, certainly usable in stock. And great concepts here. Let's go to 11. Now here, yeah, it's it's okay, but if it was a little bit different time of day and a little softer light, that would have worked better. So, you know, again, it's not bad, but not extremely uh, useful. It's, in other words, the, a lot of this stuff here is uh, generic shots. And what I mean by generic is not bad. I didn't say they were bad shots. What I mean is anybody can shoot them. So, you know, at least that's a nice gimbal walk toward the ocean. So it's a little more of a, a challenge there. But, you know, we've all done, I have these shots too. But, you know, anybody can shoot that. So my advice would be to Bad Doggy is since your camera work is solid and, um, you obviously know what you're doing with the camera and could you know certainly give anyone a run for their money on quality I would focus more on industries um, you know you got some nice nature shot but maybe contact a local builder and see if you can get um, film the the working crews the different subs working or follow around a plumber one day or you know electrician um, you know whatever you have around you I don't know what you do for a living uh, you may shoot stock for a living. Your portfolio is absolutely solid and beautiful. Um, but focus on getting some more professional shots in here of people in their in their work environments. And I really think that would help build out your portfolio a lot because I'm seeing great camera work. I'm seeing a good eye. I'm seeing great framing. I'm seeing a mix of aerials. I'm seeing macros. I'm seeing people. And so really I think the only thing you're missing is a variety in the professional space um, that's going to be hard for someone to duplicate. So that's my encouragement. You know, get some diversity if you can of different people. Um, I know it's for all of us, including me, it it's, can be challenging and scary at the same time. Let's see what this is. This looks fun. Come on, play. Boom! Love it! Smashing TV. Gotta love that. Lots of fun there. And uh, let's see. Oh, yes. I'm hungry. Yes. <laughs> I love that too. Lots of fun. Little babies running in the water. Yeah, ice stock's running a little slow here for me. But um, here we go on down, and yeah, that's my advice, Bad Doggy. Beautiful portfolio, you know, we've looked through a good chunk of it, and I just want to congratulate you on a job well done. Uh, you know, I see a lot of creativity here. I see um, a lot of time taken to get it done right, and um, just you're using and shooting your camera wherever you are, and that's exactly what I did starting and still do so I want to encourage you to keep playing keep having fun but let's get some more professional clips in here let's get some different models in here and uh, let's step that game up some and see if we can't challenge ourselves there and hey thanks for being willing to submit your portfolio for the critique it's much much appreciated for us to see um, how other people use their camera in their daily life to earn some income because that's what's happening here folks I mean, he, he is filming wherever he is on vacation, wherever he lives. He's taking his camera. He's got some good camera skills. And it's solid. It's not shaky. So, sorry these aren't playing. I did. I went through this portfolio before, but iStock's just a little slow on, on playing some of these clips here. So, um, great job. And, uh, hey... Thanks for watching, everybody. Look forward to, crit to critiquing some more portfolios. And let me tell you something. I will be honest with you. I won't be mean. I'll be honest because we're all learning and growing. And, and like I said before, you could do the same thing with mine. And there are still lots of things I could improve on. So a big shout out and thanks to Bad Doggy. And we will see everybody in the next video.